Hey everyone, how you doing? My name is Echo. Welcome back today to something very different. Every single Sunday for the past six weeks, I have been bringing you the top five worst Minecraft Pocket Edition ripoffs. These are apps that have been pretending to be Minecraft on the Google Play Store or the Apple iOS Store. Today, you guys have requested I do something a little different. So in today's video, I have the top five most useful apps for Minecraft Pocket Edition. I think you guys will enjoy this. I apologize iOS users, today I'm on Android, but if you know any useful apps for iOS, then leave a comment down below. And if you do enjoy this and maybe want a part two, then be sure to thumbs it up because again, there are thousands of apps out there for Minecraft Pocket Edition. Now in no particular order, the first one I'm sharing with you today is MCP Master. If you're on Android, and you're a fan of my channel, I'm pretty sure you've definitely used this app before. Now, MCP Master has been around for quite a long time. They do host contests where you can win specific prizes. Like, I believe in the past they've done where you can win Xbox Ones, um, but I'm not gonna learn out all about that. So, this app, you could argue that you really don't need any more apps other than this one, which is pretty true, but also not very true. Now, this app gives you the ability of downloading maps, downloading skins, texture packs, mods, add-ons, seeds, and much more. Now on the bottom right, it does have like a controller, which is what you tap when you're using Minecraft Pocket Edition. But again, you've got maps here. So whether you're downloading a survival map, creative map, adventure map, that's up to you. You've got skins, but I'm pretty sure the majority of you guys have one selected skin that you like to use. You've got texture packs, mods, etc. So if I click on this, which is the bottom on the top right, that makes no sense, which is the button on the bottom right, um, it will open Minecraft Pocket Edition. Now this will bring up this symbol, all right, which is of course an overlay within Minecraft Pocket Edition. Now if I go to play and I just create an ordinary brand new world, I'm gonna teach you exactly what you need to know about this. Now the cool thing about this is guys, this app does not work with servers, meaning that you cannot cheat. So thank you so much, Kevin, who created this app, making sure that this was not possible within servers because you end up with a lot of mods and sometimes these mods can ruin servers, whether it be like PvP server, etc. Now if I tap on this, it comes up with a whole range of things. So on the right hand side that you probably can't see, you've got like level, which is your XP, you've got fly, invincibility, you've got sprint, no clip, show coordinates, You've got on the next one, you've got game, which will change like to creative or survival, etc. But you can see here, like it's just such an incredible app to use. And I think I've changed the speed. Oh yeah, also it shows you like the health and stuff. So this is kind of the ability to customize your world. Um, you've got a screen record, so you can actually record your screen, which is pretty cool. You've got the screen recorder and you've also got a screenshot as well. Now you can teleport to specific coordinates. You can add friends. Oh, okay. This function only works in local multiplayer mode. Well, you can add friends if you guys want to make friends. Mobs, etc. So you can spawn specific mobs. So for example, let's just spawn this. As you guys can see, I've just spawned a cow. Maybe we wanted to spawn... Let's try and find a wither. Let's spawn a wither. Did we add a wither? There we go. We're spawning a wither. You've got rapid build mods, potions, enchanting, and overall this is just a really good app and it's a great community. And that is why I've added this to one of the top five most useful apps within Minecraft Pocket Edition. Again, I'm pretty sure the majority of you have seen this, but if you haven't, check out MCP Master. And the second one I'm sharing with you is completely different from MCP Master, and this is Seeds for MCP. All the apps I'm sharing with you today have their own unique feel, and they all do their own unique things. Now, you'll notice when you load up this, it says Seeds. And it has like specific uh, versions. So for example, the top one says 0 0.17.0, 0 0.16, 0 0.15. That just means what version the seed was found in. Now, nine times out of, set, out of 10, these seeds, creating them in the most recent version of Minecraft Pocket Edition should still work. You shouldn't have any issue at all. But let's have a quick look at here. Okay, it doesn't really tell me anything. What about this one? Uh, you can go for specific versions. So maybe you really wanted to go back in time and check out the old beta seeds. You can do that, you can check out the latest version. And I just really like this app, and this is something I use quite often for looking for new seeds, which is why I like this one. I wish they did have a category where you could check out like survival, island seeds, village seeds, dungeons at spawn. Um, so for example, we've got a double one here, and as you can see there, you can actually download it. Uh, allow seeds, I I've not actually done this before. Normally I just type out the seed itself. Oh, oh, it's got an advert. 
Okay then, open in MCPE. Let's have a little bit of a look at this. I've not done this before, by the way, guys. Play. Double temples. I actually did not know it did this, because I I normally just type out the seed myself, but if correctly, we should have a working seed from the app itself. And a lot of these apps do require you to accept um, where is this going to be? It, it is, it's actually right here. A lot of these apps request you to accept like files just so they can access Minecraft Pocket Edition. But that's, I actually didn't know that guys. Well, that's pretty cool. So that's, I really do like this one. So yeah, the next one that we have here is pure and simply for seeds and that is seeds for MCPE. But there's probably loads of apps like that out there. The next one is called utk.io. Now this app is very similar to MCP Master, but I like this app for one reason and one reason only. Now, and that is pure and simply for the resource pack converter. Now this app gives you the ability of converting any PC texture pack to Pocket Edition. Whether it be Faithful, whether it be DokuCraft, whether it be John Smith, you can convert any texture pack at all. Now the majority of the texture packs from PC are already on Pocket Edition, but if you wanted to try something different, you can actually convert them. I'm not going to show you in today's video, but it explains to you how it does work. It just says you can find Minecraft PC 1.10 and 1.9 resource packs on Planet Minecraft, Minecraft forums, etc. But this app also comes with a skin editor, a texture pack creator, if you guys really wanted to create your own texture pack. Uh, options tuner, not entirely sure what this is. That's just for, looks like it's for the skin, but it's got maps. So if you guys are looking for even more maps, it's got mods, which I'm not entirely sure if these are just mods or add-ons as well. They look like they're all mods and not so much add-ons. People don't really create many um, mods anymore. It's more add-ons. It's got seeds. It's got servers, which show you mainly the majority of the like lifeboat and stuff. Um, but there's some some servers out there that people really don't know about, which I think is pretty cool. And it's got all, already texture packs that people have converted. So let's go to um, top. I'm pretty sure Faithful is going to be top. Real life texture pack is actually top. Minecraft Unbelievable Shaders. So yeah, I really like this app, but mainly for the um, PC texture pack converted to Pocket Edition. The next one is servers for MCPE. But the reason why I like this one, guys, is pure and simply because... A lot of these apps find servers that we really don't know about. Now, I've searched for different apps for MCP servers, and I noticed that this one was the best because it's constantly updated. It tells you if the server's online. It tells you how long the server has been online for. Um, and as for a specific one, that's, you can actually filter it. So, for example, I'm in the UK. Uh, let's just say Europe. That I'll do is click OK. Let's go to tags. You can actually check what type of one you're looking for. So I'm a survival person. So maybe I was looking for something survival related. So let's go to survival, skyblock, and maybe I'll accept roleplay as well. Let's click OK. Versions. Um, we want the latest version, don't we? So 1.0. And then we click OK. It does pop up an advert, which I actually don't mind having adverts on useful apps. It's going to pop up this. It's going to find, if done correctly, a server related to what you like to do. Now, I haven't found one for that specifically. It looks like it doesn't really like me. Probably because of Europe. So if I do any country, maybe, just maybe, it might find some servers. Because a lot of the servers aren't located in Europe. They're normally located in America or something like that. And, okay, this is a really bad tutorial. But it's not really showing any. Let's just do, um, let's just tap all of these, shall we? Let's just see what we can find. I, I, I clicked off it by mistake. Let's just click OK. OK, I'm messing this up completely. But yeah, you guys understand how this app works. It's a lot more simpler than, than me breaking it in today's tutorial. But yeah, if you guys are looking for um, economy, you've got loads. And the nation, which I've already showed you guys that server before. You've got pig raid, vast lands. So I'm pretty sure a lot of these servers... Many of you probably don't know about. Some of you will, but some of you won't. So check out that app. It's called Servers for MCP. Guys, remember the logos. Just look for the specific logos. Now, last but not least, in today's video, we have an add-on creator for Minecraft Pocket Edition. Now, I've not really used this one, but the reason why I like this one is because of how simple it is to create an add-on. It's so simple to create an add-on on an Android tablet or device or phone. So we've got to create add-on. Let's just call it Test for the sake of today. Uh, it's an excellent add-on, apparently. You can go to create. I called it Tezzy by mistake. Um, let's go to... Maybe we want to mess around with an animal. Now, you can actually mess around with the majority of the animals. I don't think you can mess around with the, wi the wither. Sorry, the ender dragon, from what I've noticed. But let's just go to a creeper. Let's go to edit. You can edit the skin. 
Now it already has default skins, so maybe you wanted to change your skin to look like Deadpool, you can do that. Basic, you can change its health, you can change its speed. So maybe you want to change this to five. Size, let's change him to five. Um, type, creeper, yes. Feature. You can make it water breathe, burn in daylight, hurt when wet. Maybe hurt when wet is a pretty good one because that seems about about right. Um, and then, oops, I've come off it. But then, let's go back onto the creeper. I made a mistake there. Sorry, guys. So, yeah, we want to make a Deadpool. Basic, health, um, movement speed, five. Size, five. Feature, hurt when wet. The next one, attack. Attack damage, maybe it does five. It's quite a lot of stuff, this one. The next one is within radius. Sure, 16. Behavior. Water float. Panic. Mm, we're going to have a water float. Sure. It just comes up with the easy things to do. So let's just go to... I think we've kind of done this now. Creeper is kind of done. The creeper is kind of done. And then you do save. Which again, sometimes some of these apps will pop up adverts. I don't really mind this one. We can close this one. And then I'm pretty sure we can play this add-on within Minecraft. Unfortunately, I don't create this stop where I broke the app. I've never done that before. Um, manage add-ons. I broke the <laughs> I broke the app. Guys, today's tutorials turn out to be an absolute shambles. I apologize. But guys, I'm just showing you the basics of how these apps do work. And, and the add-on creator app is so simple to use. I just kind of made a big massive mess of it. So check out these apps, guys. Um, again, let me just briefly go over the apps. One last time, we have MCP Master, which I'm pretty sure you guys knows about. Seeds for MCP, UTK.io, which is a converter from PC to Pocket Edition. Service for MCP, an add-on creator for Minecraft, which I completely messed up. Have a great day, stay beautiful, and hopefully you guys will enjoy this so I can bring you another episode.